Hi, welcome to the Lintron online video tutorial series. My name is Jeff Nichols, and today I'll be talking about Lintron's online catalog. To begin, let's first go and log in to Lintron.com. If you don't already have a Lintron internet account, go ahead and click on sign up. Once you've filled out the appropriate fields, please go ahead and hit send, and a member of Lintron's authorized internet sales group will assist you within one business day. For now, let's go ahead and click on Home, and I will log in with my credentials. Upon successful login, you'll see a nice little welcome back message. There are a couple of different ways to get to the online catalog at Lintron.com. You can click on the main hotspot button for product catalog. Give you some detailed information here. You can do part number cross-reference by choosing a competitor's part number, filling it out, and then clicking search. You can do a parts number lookup by entering a partial or complete Lintron part number and click search. But for today's purposes, we'll go ahead and click on catalog. A brief overview of the main catalog page, the page is broken into two different sections. first part being this, where you can type in the partial or complete Lintron part number, if you know it, and then click search, and the second part being listed by part families. Now you can see the different part families here all have the, the word of the part family that you want to look for, the orthographic view, or wireframe drawing of the part, and then a photo of a different mixture of parts of that part family. For parts that are very similar but differ just by a few dimensions, such as a captive panel screw, simply click on that and you can view the subsections listed below. This captive panel type 1, type 2, a little difference, type 3, 4, 6. Simply clicking on the close button will close this accordion style and you can move on to the next part. Another thing to mention are the different profile sizes. Here, if we were to look at double female standoff, we see that we have round, hex, and square for the standard sizes, and round and hex for the metric sizes. For today's example, let's go ahead and click on switch standoff. The accordion style falls down, and you can see that the part description typically lists the size of the OD first. We also show, in the switch standoff example, the different profiles that we have for standard and metric. In this case, they're round for metric, and hex and round for standard. Let's go ahead and click on page A72. By clicking on this page, we'll notice the part heading first. This is a quarter inch hex switch standoff with a .139 shank diameter. Directly beneath that, you'll see the orthographic view or the wireframe drawing for this part. Also, to the right, you'll see the color-coded Lintron ordering format. This format is very important here at Lintron.com. Directly beneath that, this is an accordion style part summary where you can see the color coded part format that correlates to the ordering format along with quantity available. Now, as of right now, we don't see anything for that, but that'll change. Let's go ahead and start building our part. I'll choose AA69225 B shank and 0.312 in length. Now, this finish wasn't here just a second ago. By choosing the material that I want, it dynamically populates the finish. Different finishes can go on different materials. So, for this, for this instance, let's go ahead and choose 0, 0. As the part builds, you can see that I have different features that have become available to me. First thing is quantity available. This is real-time inventory levels, so as of this moment, I do have 4,048 pieces of this Swedge hex standoff part currently in inventory. What also follows is for pricing and availability. I can click on this link and it will directly take me to distributor pricing and availability at Lintron.com. There are also CAD drawings available for this part. To view the CAD drawing in Internet Explorer, go ahead and click right here. If you'd like to download the CAD drawing and possibly store it and save it in your assembly, right-click on this, choose Save Target As, and download the CAD drawing. Lintron uses Autodesk Design Review to develop its 3D CAD parts. 
To best view these CAD parts, we suggest you download and install Autodesk Design Review 2010 by clicking on this link, or go out to autodesk.com for further information. An additional benefit of this order summary is the conformity statement. If we click on this, it will load a new window. Please keep in mind that this is only visible if you are logged in as an authorized Lintron distributor. But here, this document can be directly printed or saved on your local machine for later use. But it does detail very specific information such as part number, part description, and the We Reach DFARS and Rojas compliancy. Well, I hope the information here that you found at Lintron.com was useful. Today we talked about the Lintron online catalog.